If any of you lacks wisdom on how to master anything in your life, on how to master anything in your life, anything in your life, if you lack wisdom, let him ask of God who gives to all liberally and without reproach. He won't even get on to you for not seeking it before. He will give you wisdom for anything you need mastery over, liberally to all. So to the person who, you know, naturally won't say, well, I'm, not, you know, I just, I'm just not good with something. You know, I'm just not. Hey, stop right there. Don't let another word come out of your mouth. Go ask God for wisdom liberally to everyone without reproach and receive wisdom to master that level of your life. Amen. That's what that means. Are we learning? Let him ask God who gives to all liberally without reproach, and it will be given him. It will be, will be given him. There's one pitfall you got to watch for, but let that person ask in faith. Without any doubting. He who doubts, this should affect us all. He who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. Which way is the wave going? What's the goal of the wave? The wave is not in control. The wave's being pushed along the way the world pushes it. That's not how Christians are supposed to live. We're not supposed to be pushed along by the circumstances. We're supposed to master the circumstances in Jesus' name and push them around. Now, what Jesus did when the sea was trying to keep him from getting to the other side and all the disciples were upset, they were being pushed around. They were scared to death. Jesus was sleeping in the back of the boat. If they hadn't worn it, woken him up, he would have arrived just fine. They woke him up. He, he, what would he say? Waves, hush, get still. We're going across. What's wrong with you, little faith? We're going across. Now, was he letting the world rule him? Was he letting circumstances dictate him? Or did he wake up, see their fear, and dictate the circumstance what was going to happen? Guys, that's your pattern. Quit letting the world dictate you. Not men. The world, the evil, the unclean spirits, and the evil in the world itself, the fallen corruption in the world, is trying to dominate you. And you are called to dominion. You're called to dominate it. And there are too many Christians saying, oh, this is just my lot in life. It's just the way God made me. I mean, you know, I'm just, this is just who I am. Please divorce yourself from that doctrine. Anything less than mastery on whatever level God's given you, it's not what God has for you. 